She burst onto the national scene and she became Bermuda's first female lawyer. Then Lois Brown Evans' decisive win in Devonshire in the 1963 general election set the stage for her future role as a political leader. She was recognized at home and abroad for her spellbinding speeches, legal acumen, and courage in tackling racial and economic injustice. She served in Parliament for 40 years, ending her career as Attorney General. Born in Trinidad and trained as a physician in Edinburgh, Dr. E.F. Gordon moved to Bermuda in 1924. Known for his outspokenness, he was elected president of the Bermuda Workers Association in 1944. In 1946, he authored a landmark petition asking the British authorities to investigate segregation and other inequalities. As leader of the Committee for Universal Adult Suffrage, Dr. Paolo Camarago Fago, who was born in Roosevelt Brown, helped galvanize public support for the abolition of the property vote. The series of public meetings staged by the Committee for Universal Adult Suffrage in 1960 hastened passage of the franchise bill. Dr. Camarago Fago became an environmental engineer, lending his skills to communities in the developing world. He also worked for the United Nations. Gladys Misik Morell led the 30 year battle for women's voting rights. Despite support from influential men and women and a campaign that drew international attention, she and her fellow suffragettes encountered strong resistance. Her determination and persistence were finally rewarded with the passage of the Women's Suffrage Bill on April 21, 1944, giving white and black female property owners the right to vote. She also co-founded the District Nursing Service. Mary Prince holds an honored place in history as the first British woman to publish an account of her life in slavery. Born in Devonshire, she was mistreated and abused for many years. When her owner took her to London, she was rescued by abolitionists who gave her home and work and published The History of Mary Prince. Her best-selling book was critical to the success of the abolitionist movement. Born in British Guiana, Sir Edward Richards arrived in Bermuda in 1930 to teach at the Barclay Institute. He began his fight against racial injustice, writing editorials as an assistant editor of the Bermuda Recorder. He continued to challenge segregation as a barrister and a parliamentarian. In 1970, he became the first black person in Bermuda to receive a knighthood. In 1971, he became the island's first black leader. A towering figure in business and politics, Sir Henry Tucker is known as the architect of modern Bermuda. A banker who began his career on Wall Street, he was a founding father of international business. He played a central role in every significant event in 20th century Bermuda. He founded the United Bermuda Party in 1964 and became government leader in the first election held on the universal suffrage in 1968. Sir John Swan overcame challenges with his vision in childhood as well as dyslexia to become a leading real estate developer and Bermuda's longest serving premier. His major achievement as Premier was the 1988 tax treaty that resulted in the development of the reinsurance industry. His ability to relate to the everyday Bermudian while at the same time establishing relationships with global leaders contributed to his success in politics and business.